find out why we're talking about another Masters mm. champ and questions about cheating. Uh. But first, the big move in the Big Apple series. Yeah, you know, Knicks fans, it's been ugly in New York for years, right? Yeah, but, but last night's mm. blowout loss to the Nuggets was another level of ugly, and now David Fisdale, he is out as head coach. That is our breaking news, first reported by Adrian Wojnarowski at 3.40 p.m. Eastern Time. Knicks owner James Dolan pulling the plug on Fizz just 18 months into his four-year, $22 million contract. Last night, they actually made history, becoming the first Knicks team and just the seventh NBA team ever to lose back-to-back -back games by at least 35 points. They lost by 37 to Denver. Here's what the now former Knicks head coach said after the blowout loss last night. You talked in Milwaukee about the way they played that night, 40, 47 down, 43 down tonight. What does it mean to see it twice in a row? It's sickening. And uh, they'll uh, have to rewatch it, just like I'm going to watch it three or four times. They're going to have to suffer through it as well. 4 and 18, are you, are you worried this is going to fall on you? Ultimately. I don't care about all of that. I don't even think about that, really. I think about the next team we're playing. I think about the guys in the locker room and how I can help them. At the end of the day, that's all I care about. And now it's over. He will not be helping this team. His run is over. The 4-18 start tied for the worst in franchise history. Fisdale ends his Knicks career with the worst winning percentage by a coach in team history at 202. Brian Windhorst now takes a deep dive into this latest failure by the franchise. The New York Knicks look like straight trash. This is a Nick team not constructed to win in the short term. You gotta have a scapegoat, and so all of a sudden you blame Coach Fizdale. The day the Knicks hired David Fizdale in May of 2018, and they deployed an impressive long-term plan, ratified by owner James Dolan. I want the fans to know that I'm engaged, that I'm there, that ownership cares about what's happening. Front office leaders Steve Mills and Scott Perry promised they'd learn from their predecessors. This time, no shortcuts, no swinging for the fences, no quick fixes. Less than two seasons later, Fizdale was gone. After big swings and misses, led to little success. Knicks got booed in the first half, got booed in the third quarter. This is a disturbing loss. They stink! With Dolan believing the team had inside info, the Knicks tried to go big in free agency last summer. And they traded Chris Apps Porzingis to help them do it. That definitely wasn't the way I wanted it to happen. Got a little bit ugly. It is what it is. They dreamed of Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving, or Durant and Irving. The info ended up being half right. They were coming to New York, but on the other side of the Brooklyn Bridge. The cool thing right now is not the Knicks. The plan to go slow was gone. The focus on developing youth got muddy. They spent their cap space on a host of veteran role players. Fine players, none were difference makers. Fizdale struggled to find lineups that would work. He struggled balancing playing young players versus the veterans. After just 10 games, Mills and Perry held a sudden press conference to announce the team, projected to win 27 games by Vegas, was underachieving. Scott and I are not happy with where we are right now. We think the team's not performing to the level that we anticipated or we expected it. From that moment, this moment was inevitable. Soon there will be a sixth coach in seven years and a new, new plan for Dolan to roll out. Yet another lost season at the Garden. Adrian Wojnarowski broke the story, joins us now live here on SportsCenter and Woj. He reported that the Knicks had paved the way for Fizdale firing back on November 11th, which was the day after Steve Mills, Scott Perry, held that news conference. So how did they get to today's decision? Well, the consistent losing, the two blowouts here at home, you know, didn't even allow Fisdale to get on this Western Conference trip coming. But this is there is a culture at Madison Square Garden with the Knicks of scapegoating. Uh, typically, it falls on the coach. And, you know, David Fisdale signed up to coach Kristaps Porzingis, have a chance at free agency to get some A-list free agents. And he has none of that. He has a roster that is built to be doing exactly what it's done, and, and that's get blown out on a regular basis in the NBA. Yeah, so it, it almost doesn't matter who the head coach is based on the talent yeah. that they have to work with. So how aggressively are the Knicks pursuing a, a permanent replacement versus maybe just riding on an interim for the rest of the season? 
Well, I'm told that th their assistant coach, Mike Miller, who had been with the Knicks G League team in the past, had some success there, is the likely interim coach. But here's going to be the question, Sage, for the Knicks organization. If they allow Steve Mills to go out and hire another coach while this season is going on, they're essentially committing to this front office structure going forward um, and, you know, buying them more time uh, to to draft players, make deals, pick this coach, because you are not going to go big game hunting for a top-level basketball executive if you put in place another coach with a long-term deal during the season. You know, I think the plan for the Knicks should be let an interim coach ride this out and then make some decisions about who is going to run basketball operations, who can lift the Knicks out of this disrepair. That, that's the thing, and you mentioned Scott Perry's name and Steve Mills' name, and, and we've heard their names thrown around for many years now, Woj. Why do they still have a job? I mean, it starts at the top, right? What is Steve Mills and Scott Perry's, what is their standing right now under James Dolan? Well, James Dolan has shown tremendous loyalty and belief in Steve Mills despite the fact that he has had virtually no success in over a decade uh, in two different stints running, uh, overseeing basketball operations with the Knicks. And if the Knicks are going to go out and get the elite kind of executive that would want to come work for the Knicks, despite all this, despite James Dolan, the Knicks could still attract one of the very best, most accomplished general managers, presidents in the league, but if Steve Mills is still there in place as they've allowed him to step aside at different times, move over to business, come back, uh, that's going to be really difficult to attract uh, the kind of candidate that's needed uh, to, to get the Knicks going and make them a representative organization. But just think, it's only been a couple of months since people thought, hey, Zion Williamson coming. Um, how about <laughs> Kevin Durant? How about Kyrie Irving? What a difference a couple of months makes. And now David Fisdale out as head coach of the Knicks with Woj breaking the news. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Sage.